work ethic was there all night? I think so. Again, like a lot of those kids are 18 year old, 19 year old, they're tired and <clears throat> the nerves too, like just to be here and just to go to Philly and being in Voorhees around the, you know, it's, it's, it's only you're going out there, you're, it's everything around it. You know, you, those kids are around Sean Couturier and guys like that, it's, it's, they're nervous. And, and I felt like you know, they were, a lot of those kids were tired, but the guys that were looking um, to make the big team, like the Cates brothers and uh, Tyson and um, Ole, all those guys, I thought looked really, really good. You know, they, they find a way to battle through it, and, but they're older, like Ole's 23, and you got other kids that are 18, 19 years old, so. It's a good experience for them, and uh, hopefully they realize that, you know, in pro hockey, you might have an off night, but you have to keep working and battle through it. I was curious, I, your thoughts on uh, Sam Erskine, it seemed like he got better. Did he play? I'm <laughs> kidding. It's great. You know, it's, it's not the, it wasn't a plan, believe it or not, I know, uh, but uh, it's almost great for him to see that many shots from all angles. They were shooting from everywhere, they had great chances, but... And for a guy who hasn't played, only played four games in the past year, I think I'm, I'm not a goalie coach. That's I'm not. It's above my pay grade, but uh, uh, I think it's perfect for him to see that many pucks today. And he looked great. He looked uh, really good, and um, he's going to build on that, which is great for us. I know there's a lot to figure out on who's where, and I know you want the guys to make the big club. But are you excited seeing some of this talent that you could end up having? I I am I am because you know some of those guys will make the big club, but we do have big numbers and. I'm going to have good players, and we talked about it in the last year that talent, uh, talent players, uh, talented players are coming. They didn't know it as well. They know those guys. Tyson, uh, like I said, I hope those kids make the flyers, and if they do, somebody else going to come our way. So I'm actually excited to um, to work with those kids, and uh, it's fun to see them, just to get to know them, their personality, and everything. And you know, hopefully they'll make the big team. But if they don't, I'll be ready for them. No cases. Coming out of these games, do you feel like he's ready to take a real shot at, at making the big level? Hey, I'm sure he is, but it's tough to judge. Again, there are 22, 23 year old guys playing against 18, 19, playing with. I'm excited what I saw in the past two days, but this week in Philly, the level is going to go up. Next weekend, it's going to go up. And it's only going to, it's, you know, he's. He, that's a great start for him, for both brothers, but they have to elevate their, their level too. And you go back to last year, he did look great with the Flyers, and I watched some of the games. And uh, But last year was a team who was out of the playoffs, they didn't play for much. You know, teams that play against you, they don't they don't try as hard as other team. But this year, right from the get-go, that's where he's going to get tested. And But just starting to know him a little bit, it's, he's so mature for his age, and he's, uh, he's focused. And, both brothers are very focused, which is, is great. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes the team right from the get-go, but again, the tests are coming for those two. Well, still had a goal today, a goal yesterday, and you factored in on, uh, on David Wisdom's goal today. What were some of your big teams? Uh, Oli, sorry? Yes, yeah, he had two assists, too, today. A goal to assist. I'm impressed, you know, and he's smiling. I like that, you know, like yesterday. I, uh, Sunshine is, uh, I call him Sunshine yesterday, and today, Made a couple of great plays, great play on the power play, great play on the three on two. Um, I've been told that uh, he's got some drive and he drives the play, and so far that's what he's doing. But that's another kid that when our camp starts, or well, the Flyers camp, you know, it's going to elevate. And even our camp, when the veterans are coming back, you know, it's going to it's going to go another level. And it's part of being a pro. You know, you can, you know, you, it's step by step. You did, you did great. He's doing great in rookie camp. He needs to do great in the uh, Flyers camp, and after that, we'll see what it'll be. You mentioned earlier today that you liked seeing Wisdom's final 20 minutes. You said yeah. you were keeping an eye on he, him for this game. How did you think he He built on that, and no credit to him. Like, he, you know, right from the get-go, first shift, he hit somebody. I don't know who he hit behind the, the net there, and he built on that. And that's a kid, again, 19 years old. But what I like about that, he learned that he knew that yesterday he didn't like his game, and he knew he had a pretty good third period, and he built on that. and. It's part of grow. It's part of becoming a pro, and um, I, I know I keep repeating myself with that, but that's the truth. It doesn't come overnight. You got to go through it. You got to experience it. You got to take the good and uh, take the bad out, and keep the good. And that's what he did in the third yesterday, and he just, you know, did it today again. Ronnie Adder, big body, defensive. He is big. Chipped in offensively. It seemed like he showed all the tools in the toolbox. Yeah, I can see what what they see. You know, he's. Uh, 
um, yeah, he can shoot the puck. He's physical. He's everything you know. Teams are dreaming of, you know. And uh, and on top of it, what a kid! A smile on his face every day. Comes to the ring. Hi, coach. Good morning. Like you know, I love that. You know, it's, it means he loves the game and he knows he's a, one of the lucky ones that can do that for a living. And he brings the energy every day. And he's going to be a leader somewhere. And, you know, I think with the Flyers, soon sooner and later for sure. How beneficial was this overall experience? Two games for these young players to build some confidence. Yes, the next step is going to be a lot harder, but they come here, play a couple of games, get a head start, a little confidence going into the game. Yeah, I think it's great, and especially in our building, like it's a real building. Like last year was at practice rink. It's not quite the same, but they came here and um, um, just to experience like the locker room, and you know, it's again, it's step by step. That's so you don't become a pro overnight, but. Some of those kids are going back. Are going to go back to junior. They're going to next year. They're going to come even more experience, and they'll be, you know, it's going to be a better start for them next year. And it's all good, all positive. Even if even if some of those kids had an off night tonight, we're going to talk to them tomorrow just to make sure they they built on that. And like I said earlier, you can have off nights, but you have to work, especially at this level. Junior, you can kind of sleep through a game. You can do that in the American League or the NHL.